In section three, we're going to look at uh, the proportional pieces of transversals cutting through parallel lines. So in this very first example here, we have this transversal, number one, and we have another transversal going down here. And transversals are just lines that cut across parallel lines. And what it's telling us is that if we look at this little segment here, I'm actually going to go ahead and label this last point G on the end. So if we cut across uh, from G to D, and we cut across from G to A, those two segments are going to have a relationship with each other that is proportional to the relationship between DE and AB. So for example, if we, if we were to write out now, GD, that's this first piece, over GA, so top over bottom, is going to be proportional to, so top divided by bottom is the same ratio as this top divided by this bottom, DE, and again DE is that orange piece right there, to AB. And in fact that will also be proportional, we could keep going, uh, to EF over BC. So EF over BC. Any of those pieces, uh, we pick any two of them, and they're going to be proportional to any two other ones uh, in that diagram. So that's uh, a pretty neat little thing, and you can even actually span across multiple. You could say GE is proportional to GB or GF all the way to the end is proportional to GC. And all of those uh, ratios you could write like this, they're all going to be equal to one another. Moving on to this next example, whenever you have a triangle it's the same concept. So you could say this piece over here over this piece over here, JK over NB is going to be proportional to, equal fraction to, yj over yn, which is also going to be proportional to the whole thing, yk over yb. So exact same concept as before. You take segment, and I decided to do the right over the left. So I decided to always take the right piece over the left piece. I could have written them all as left over right. As long as I'm consistent with all of my fractions, then it's okay. It's when you start mixing and matching some left over right, some right over left, that's when you get into trouble. That's when it stops being true. So in this first example, we're asked to find x. And we have these two parallel lines coming across right here. So what that means for us is that this piece of 12, this time let's do left over right just to change it up. So left, right, and I'm going to do left over right. And left over right is going to be 12 over 10. And that's going to be equal to left over right, x over 15. Now when I have that, the way I solve any proportion, cross, multiply, and divide. Take my 12 times my 15 is equal to the 10 times the x. And 12 times 15 is 180 equals 10x. And then I divide both sides by 10 to get x equals 18. To make sure this makes sense, I get a little bit bigger as I go from right to left. 15 to x gets a little bit bigger, becomes 18. So x equals 18 seems reasonable. Now we're going to look at example 2 here. And what we found is that this time we're actually given the lengths of the parallel lines themselves. And that's kind of interesting because that's a little bit different than what we've had. The way that we're going to actually go about doing this one is a little bit different. We're going to look at the fact that we have similar triangles. So there's one triangle and then a second similar triangle is this big triangle right here in purple. So we have the green triangle and the purple triangle that are similar. Now how did I know that they were similar? Am I just making stuff up? Well, wouldn't be 
that unreasonable for me to do that. But this angle and this angle here are corresponding angles. Uh, and we also have these two angles here correspond to one another because they're both transversals going through parallel lines. And so whenever you have two angles in a shape that are in a triangle that are the same, we always know the third tri angle has to be the same. And in fact, it is an overlapping angle, so it's definitely the same. So all three angles in these triangles are the same. And when all the angles are the same, the sides are going to be proportional uh, when you have uh, triangles. And three angles that are the same in a triangle is always going to prove that you do have similar triangles. So we can set up a relationship between the sides. And when we do that, let's start with the green triangle. We have a 6 here on top and then an x coming down. So I'm going to write 6 over x and that's going to be equal to something on the purple triangle. The length of this side, which is actually 6 plus 4, so 10, not 4, but 10, over length of this side coming down, which is going to be 20. So 6 over x is equal to 10 over 20. Again, we're solving proportions. Cross, multiply, and divide. 6 times 20 equals 10 times x. So 120 equals 10x. And when we divide both sides by 10, we get 12 equals x. So x is 12. That seems reasonable. It's going to be a little bit less than 20. Uh, so it looks like we've got that. And moving on to example 3. We're told that we have lines k, m, and n. So lines k, m, and n are all parallel to one another. So that means all of our proportion rules are going to work out for us. Which means this segment, this 10, over this 15 should be equal to this segment 15 over this unknown piece x. So 15 over x we said is going to be equal to the purple ratio 10 over 15. Notice that I did top over bottom top over bottom. I kept my order consistent. Whenever you keep your order consistent that's going to help you get your proportions right. To solve, as always, cross multiply divide. 10 times x equals 15 times 15. So we have 10x equals 225. And then divide both sides by 10 and x equals 22.5. Seems reasonable. We got bigger going from top to bottom. We're going to get bigger going from top to bottom. One and a half times bigger. So 22.5 makes sense.